When I was about 10 or 11 years old, one of my favorite TV shows was MacGyver. Week after week, Angus MacGyver, the main character, who was some kind of super spy or special agent, he would find himself in dangerous situations which seemed impossible to escape from alive. But armed with an almost encyclopedic knowledge of physics and chemistry and all things scientific, MacGyver always found a way to do the impossible. And he did that by using the most ordinary things that he found lying around. With his Swiss army knife, a battery from a clock, maybe a hairpin from one of the female characters of that episode, and a stick of chewing gum. MacGyver would cobble it together and construct some elaborate contraption which would save the day just in time. His ingenuity at taking relatively simple, insignificant and insufficient objects and turning them into weapons and tools to get him out of tight spots was so perfectly set out in that TV show week after week that a few years back the word MacGyver as a verb and the phrase to MacGyver it found its way into the Oxford Dictionary. The dictionary says something like this, to MacGyver it means to make or repair something in an improvised or inventive way, making use of whatever items are at hand. In the Gospel today, Philip is asked by Jesus to feed the vast crowd. Philip is aware that he doesn't have the financial resources for the job, and Andrew is only able to come up with a few loaves and fish donated by a young boy in the crowd. What they have to offer is woefully inadequate as a solution. As Andrew himself says, loaves and fish, what is that between so many? But then Jesus goes into MacGyver mode, he takes what he has at hand, takes what's available, those few loaves and fish, and amazingly, he feeds the multitude to the full with baskets of bread left over. In the TV show, MacGyver relied on his intelligence and his ability to invent. Jesus, however, relies only on the goodness of the Heavenly Father, giving the Father thanks in advance for the miraculous multiplication of loaves and fish. Never underestimate what God can do with the little we have to offer. That young boy who donated the loaves and fish could not have imagined that his lunch would feed a multitude. But, but what, when what is inadequate and insignificant is placed into the hands of the Lord Jesus, all kinds of wonderful things are possible. God, it seems clear from Scripture, delights in using what seems ordinary, little and insufficient to bring about his greatest wonders. But that shouldn't be too surprising when we consider that we have a God who created everything there is out of nothing. A young shepherd boy using a single pebble in a slingshot, brought down the giant Goliath. And he became King David, and he became the direct ancestor of Jesus. A young teenage girl in a rural backwater of the Roman Empire said yes to becoming the mother of the Messiah, the mother of Jesus. And she went on to become the Queen of Heaven. They and so many others like them in the Bible and in the past 2,000 years of the church's history with its saints, they placed themselves at God's disposal, placed their lives in the hands of God, and the Almighty did great things through them and great things for them. When I was young watching that program, it seemed like MacGyver could make a rocket ship that would take you to the moon out of a pair of scissors, an elastic band, a box of matches, and a piece of string. If you allow him, God can MacGyver it with you. 
despite any and all of your shortcomings, he can and will make of you a saint. That's what he desires to do with you and for you. And while he is doing that for you, he will do so many other good things using you. But for that to happen, he needs your generous yes. Give him the bits and pieces of your life, even the broken pieces that are lying around. And he'll take them in his hand and watch what he will do. Perhaps you have been holding back your yes to something God is asking of you because you feel too weak or too sinful or too far gone or too young or too old or too busy or too whatever. Today's gospel is inviting you to say yes. Put yourself into the hands of Jesus. Give whatever you have over to him. And let him do something wonderful.